want some tea too, bro. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, we're back, guys. It's uh, game two. It's tea time. <laughs> it's tea time. Uh, LGD China versus Tong Fu. I, mean, we don't have to, I like that. Or I like and dislike. We don't have to say LGD China. I no longer have to do LGD.CN on like my VODs and stuff. It's just LGD. The only LGD. That's the way it should be. Yeah. I, I mean, as far as like looking at the team's heritage and how it's always been, this is a team that's been around for like six, seven years, I want to say now. One of the maybe longest that long. organization. I mean, now maybe even. I think it is the longest, uh, as far as China goes, it's the longest lasting team there. There was CH, that was a long team. Yeah. Uh, the, it's e the longest lasting obviously. team that's still around, though. Yeah, and e still relevant. Ehome would, e would have them beat if they hadn't disbanded. Right. Tongfu was formed like from all the players from Panda who left, so this is the longest lasting organization in China. Yeah. Well, it's. Uh, so this is the say. LGD. I don't want to. They're not LGD China, they're just LGD. They are definitely China, though. Yes. LGD's well, turn to pick it wouldn't be China if there wasn't an OD pick. Lumi's crying. He's oh just God. sort of gone fetal position in the corner. Why do you first pick this hero? Um, because you're second picking tree and protector. I'm not sure. Tongfu have to come back. They lost game one, so they're going to go a different strategy here. This will be a Mu solo mid OD. I think he just said, I want a hero that can just win my lane, win the game, not have to worry about any remaining. potential burdens on my team. I don't know who I'm talking about, whether it's XTT, maybe it's SMJ, maybe Sancheng. One of those guys could become a bit of a burden. Everybody's a burden on this team. <laughs> Everybody's a burden when you're your Tom trans teammates. If a lot if of expectations you, put on by that guy. If you are, if you are, everybody's a burden. How do you carry the team? How do Not you carry OD, all these burdens? Well, um, LG, you're immediately replied with Razor, so Moo's got to have some hope and reliance on his team because you're not going to be able to do as much as you'd like when there's a Razor to counter your OD. Is this gonna be the boots versus boots matchup at mid? It will Probably. be boots versus boots, unless there's some shenanigan nade dodging around. But yeah, could do safe lane OD. But Razor's Five Razor's one of those heroes that are as boring as OD. I, yeah, I think Razor's more boring, personally speaking. But. Do you remember those days of European Dota where Razor Vanguard was the thing? Vanguard everything was a thing. Vanguard was well. Vanguard was a thing. <laughs> Vanguard was a thing, and Vanguard Razor was just. We'd go Vanguard Marana. Oh, that was a thing. Was remaining. it? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just, I don't, I I just don't threw in like random. No, Vanguard Runner was never a thing. I would go Vanguard like every hero just because the item was so strong. But yeah, it wasn't like a thing. All right, now we have Gyrocopter as the second pickup here. You can yes. see I've just deflated after OD gets picked. I'm surprised by. I, normally we're seeing the supports get picked up with the first two picks. That's sort of been the LGD trend over the last couple yeah. of days. Turn but to Visage ban. This is the only support ban, but no Naga picks. No Rubik picks. I guess been like losing. No, no Weaver picks. No what pick? Weaver. Weaver, yeah, that's. It, Weaver won the first game last game. Yeah. Weaver has oh. still not lost a game. No, Weaver lost a two games in a row to Rubik. What am I talking about? Weaver lost both games uh, in the earlier series. But we are going to see Anti Mage ban coming out from Tong Fu. So no Xiao Tu Xi Anti Mage. And I think that would have been something maybe LGD fall back on game two. It's one of those things where. They'll do something different game one than game two. It's like, let's. They probably think we're being aggressive again. Let's just throw an anti mage in there as a fourth or fifth pick. LGD. I think could be going into something like a uh, more team fight oriented. We saw them go to Enigma the other day. Spectre could still uh, be a very relevant thing. Although, against OD and Gyrocopter, the damage output is absolutely insane. I mean, if, if we don't see Enigma and Spectre as the last two pick. Could work it out. It could be. LGD go for Naga. They've been playing Naga for some time, even before leading up to TI3 and stuff. They were running this as a support. They were the f like before even Alliance was picking this year. I feel like LGD was picking Naga Siren as support, but just not really dominating with it like how Alliance did. Alliance really showed its full potential, but LGD had been running support Naga for a long, long time. Yeah, and uh, they ran it last Ten game, had moderate remaining. success. Star was still in a couple times. I like to see uh, ZSMJ on that Rubik again. Five I feel like this game remaining. again, very key spell to steal. Yeah. If she's still static link. Suddenly so things get a little bit wonky. Reserve Razor time. links you. You, you link him so? back. I don't. You're not gonna get Razor's not gonna be linking the, the Rubik. <laughs> okay, he links the OD and you that link the Razor. Like, Lumi, you, what what have you been? What have you put in your T? Look, if he has, if he's the only target, you drop the link on him, right? I do. You actually look to steal that. <laughs> oh, all right. That's that's a good pick here. LG. This is a that's combo. That's something that's missing in their lineup is that. Actually, OD RCK Astro four era. seconds to set up for the stomp. Yeah. Earth Splitter. One thing that uh, AI and I talked about is Elder Titan and Gyrocopter are insane combos together because the Earth Spitter slow combos very well with the uh, Gyrocopter call down slow. The 
the, uh, the stomp itself combos well with call down. And of course, natural order, when you have a spirit running around with huge minus remaining. armor in the middle of the team fight, that's going to help Flat Cannon. These two heroes are kind of Five good friends. Hand in hand, they will go to destroy teams. I used to think the manliest hero in Dota was, was Axe. Then Elder Titan time. came into Dota 2. I'm, I'm torn now. Elder Titan is very manly. How, how so? Give me the, give me the breakdown. Look at, I don't know, look at the guy. He looks like he's from Braveheart or something. I mean, if you want to throw that in the centaur, this could be, this could be Russell Crowe. I want to see Russell Crowe's Elder Titan cosplay. I mean, <laughs> at the same, like, think of centaur, right? You hit him, he hits you back without even hitting you back. How manly is that? Like, that's axe status. This it's guy not all is... about like your skills and the way it's played. It's about like, look at that face. He gives no shits. <laughs> okay, I guess so. The freedom cow. You know, you've got space cow. Well, this is the freedom cow. He's American cow. He has got some good face paint going. He's the American Freedom Cow. I don't know. I, he looks like a a, a tryhard fan at a football game. That, that's well, what he that's looks still like to me. Your, your standard American. So. <laughs> there you go. We're, we're, we're good. He's the, <laughs> the free, he's still the Freedom Cow. <laughs> all right, all right. LG takes USA, a little, USA. <laughs> thinks thinks a little bit and and picks out Alchemist as as their. At this point, he's not fighting for USA. He's fighting for Porridge, <laughs> the Tong Fu Porridge Company. <laughs> That's gotta be like the least manly thing that you could be fighting for, <laughs> right? This conversation's deteriorated very quickly. You're, you're fighting me. for freedom, your rights, or porridge. Ten seconds remaining. It's the right to eat porridge. <laughs> the right to eat porridge in the summer, because I have people tell me you can't eat porridge in the summer. It's a winter breakfast, and I strongly disagree. That's what Elder Titan is Reserve fighting for. Time. Porridge is good around all of the year. Yep. <laughs> okay. LGD's Good, we're in agreement. You can move bad. on now. That's a hero, Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin's been pretty ass today. Yeah, I've been uh, pretty underwhelmed by general. Well, I think one game it was the four melee draft where he was sort of forced to go mid. So I kind of discount. I don't think you can use that against the hero as a viable pick. I think that was just a drafting faux pas. RTK pulled the RTK on drafting. Didn't didn't think that could happen. <laughs> Not just in game feeding, in game disappointment. It's Meta drafting disappointments. But, uh, we're going to see the last pick now coming from LG. They've gone Alchemist, LG so there's your South Juji hero. Razor going to be in the mid lane. So Naga, Alchemist, they need a plus one, a range support. Al en Enigma getting banned. Would LG actually go that greedy? They need something which can actually zone Elder Titan out of the lane, I feel. Mm. Yeah, they have nothing against Elder Titan. Support Silencer time. Let's go. You see that Stomp being channel? You see him. <laughs> <laughs> Moving his uh, big hoops, you global. What's uh, up? Seconds remaining. Right? Crystal Maiden, maybe. Rubik's still in the pool as well, actually. Five Look, Crystal Maiden does not have a global range silence. You go Rubik here, surely. Or we're just, we're space, just throwing here out. Cow, There's cow. just like no analysts. Abaddon. Look, when you get two best out of three, like, brain is just getting mushed. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm having fun. Do you go, if you're Tong Fu, do you get something, well, they need a support. So I guess both teams are just fighting over that last support. Shadow Demon taken out. Rubik's, there's no big key spells. For, I mean, there are ultimates out there to steal, like your Naga Siren Sleep, your Jara Cooldown, but there's no kind of staple Shikuchi, Sand King type stuns, which are just like your bread and butter mid-game spells to be stealing. What? Tong Fu's turn support to Pugna, or is Zo this Jungle Dark Seer? Zo picked this the other day, and he, he got a Spear Breaker charged to hell out of the game. Yeah, that was, that was a fun game. Nether Ward is the answer against this lineup. I like what LGD are doing, man. They're they're changing playstyles. They're bringing in new picks. Nether Ward's actually insanely legit against this lineup. Like the damage output against OD is, yeah, okay. Elder Titan is gonna get his mana passively degen. Nyx Assassin remaining. is gonna get his mana burn. Ah, it's Zhao Eight with his in the go black. Would you say? I feel like Zhao Eight's like a well. I, I okay, I'm not gonna say that actually. Let's say he's like Reserve a very kind of time. innovative. Like he's called Director Eight because his drafts, but he's been doing the same drafts like a year straight. So, well, the year has rolled around. We yeah. are in the new this era. Is, this is the draft they're gonna be doing for the next 18 months. God, I hope that's not the draft they're gonna be doing next 18 months because this draft is sketch, is dubious, <laughs> it is questionable, suboptimal. Give me some synonyms here. Or do I need to go to Zorus.com? It's just Lumi, Lumi, <laughs> Lumi English lesson of the day. How do you spell this? It's not how to spell the Zorus, but Google. Yeah. Thanks, me. Yeah, all right. I, all right, let's find. This is 
This is a uh, centrical part of our daily broadcast, Lumi. <laughs> are you, what are you ambiguous? Centrifugal. This is Cent- a centrifugal, centrifugal part of our, of our daily BTS broadcast. It is unproven, <laughs> it is suspicious, and problematic at the same time. Dubious is there. All right. Did you? What was the word, word that you learned yesterday? Centrigo. No. Centrigo. No. Yet. Yeah. Integral. Centrical. Integral. Integral. You've already lost. Lumi. Holy fuck. Lumi, Rumi English lesson of the day. All right, <laughs> welcome to BTS, guys. All right, Shao Two G is gonna be playing his Alchemist up on the top lane here. We have DDC playing not support Naga Siren. Shao Eight's gonna be on the Razor. Yao on Dark Tear, and DD on the support Pugna. You know, Jungle Pugna is a thing. Yeah, it's Snoopy still... from Team N Nine actually pulled it out in competitive matches. Yes, worked yes. wonders. I pulled it out in my competitive pubs where you go. It's not as good anymore because you can't. You can't like you used to stack the stack the big neutral camps and just smoke kill them with uh, blast, but now they uh they scatter, they delta split. <laughs> Did you learn what delta split is yet? <laughs> Apparently, you were you just sell delta split and they run. Yeah, different okay. directions. You have like a group of fifteen neutrals there and they're freaking screaming the hell delta split, delta split, and running in ten different directions. That's what happens when you invis nuke them. <laughs> okay, neutrals do a tactical delta split. I mean, battle. neutrals play better delta than a lot of other burdens. Burdens. Look, I like when we finish each other's sentences. <laughs> burdens? Just, just an add burden series sentences. XCT is going to be playing off lane Elder Titan here uh, on the Radiant side. We have Moo playing solo mid OD. On the bot lane, we have uh, the Burden himself playing Rocket Barrage Helicopter. ZSMJ on Nyx Assassin. And uh, Shanshan playing Lina, who, by the way, the battle sporting the, uh, the $35 advantage on the bot lane because. Whew, Got some arcana. I would like. On. I wish K pop Toasted was here giving us some stats. Lena with arcane set, win rate versus non arcane set. I'm pretty sure it's. At least like 10% higher. 10% higher, yeah. Well then. Over on the LGD side, I don't think you introduced that. No, I did. So, uh, we Thank have you. got Yao as a playing Dark. I did. No, I you didn't. Did? You no, yes, something? I did. Did you introduce. Bo- I introduced both teams. I was too busy just, I don't know, talking about. Uh oh, somebody's English. dead. Somebody dead. Yep. And Hail Stun. They're gonna need the Gyrocopter Rock Barrage. Unfortunately, the creeps have joined him as well. Bobby blocks! ZSMJ. Not gonna get that. And the creep wave was like. I think you, you should go Lena Stun first. Lena's invis. You stun first with Lena, because then the Impale comes. And Lena's stun has a shorter cooldown than the Nyx Assassin stun. Yeah, I don't think they would have got a second stun off regardless. Ooh, it was, would have been close. Yeah, it would have been close regardless. But he's got Surge at level 1 now, so Yao's. Rocket Barrage. Yao. Yo, what are you doing, man? I. Questionable. Um, Questionable. What other words do we have for that play? Suboptimal. Uh, dubious. Uh, unproven. 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 Well, Joe's, Joe's carry still unproven here in the Cena Cup. He's got his team to the winner bracket semifinals. We'll have to see if they can come back from a 1 0 deficit. LGD lead. And LGD with a very unorthodox draft here. Yeah, I mean, su- what does support Pugna do for you here as Zoe is tanking the tower? This is good for Dark here. He's getting a decent amount of experience with how much this lane's been pushed up. But ZSMJ immediately reacts. Start gonna start pulling here. Just a single pull, but that's because he can tango one through, get the double pull in. This is, has be been one good. of the most worst managed creep wolves I've ever seen. Yao is about it's Yao, because of the first bud they went for. Yeah, Yao has hit level two off getting surge at level one. Yep. Lane well, salvaged. It's it was that how oh, sorry it was Joe immediately just running dragging the creep wave when they went for that first blood I think they thought they could get if they get it fantastic but unfortunately they don't so it's the costly pop, yeah oh it looks like Moo's gonna get linked up here by Xiao Wei here as they he didn't go boots he, okay. Xiao Wei out meta gamed Moo because he knew Moo would go boots so he's like I'm just not gonna get boots get Wraith Band and Outlast hit him yeah which the mind game the J- Director Eight is just like man he's on top of Chinese Dota right now I I guess so LGD road to Ti4 I mean come on. They also have a Pugna jungle right now. It's level one, and he's he's not stacking. He's trying to pull. He's pulling. The hell is a support Pugna gonna do? And Naga's also level one here, so both these supports struggling a bit. You look at these radiant supports; they're level two and a half. They're approaching the level three mark. All right. I don't know what to call this game. That's okay. I'll I'll help you. Okay. When Good. needed. Zhao Wei harassing away at mid lane. That's a lot of damage coming out from here. Stole. It's 56 damage, so Moo gets harassed down. I wonder if we see the bottle coming out on OD or if Uh-oh. we go straight Buckler. Impale, impale! Not too far away. Yeah, Lena Stun not going to be in range. And once again, tanking this creep wave. This is, well, I guess the, the creep wave is pushing towards Joe. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's they're okay. fine. Creep Equilibrium is under control, Lumi. You'll be For happy now. to see. 
Smoke Gank's gonna come up to the mid lane here as Xiao A is playing some like next level dive dota. He's actually playing on the Radiant side now. <laughs> here we go. I don't know <laughs> if you wanna right click. Like, oh here comes the, that's gonna set they're up. Not gonna the get smoke. There. It's you used it too early. There's not gonna be an Astral to set things up here. So they're gonna wait for Astral to come off cooldown, it looks like, before they try and go in. Yeah, Astral, five seconds. I don't think I think he backs off because he's not he doesn't need to move forward. Maybe for this one melee creep which is getting low, but no, Shao recognized that entire creep wave or yep. two supports yep. missing yep. on the bot lane, and he's like, That's "Yeah, I'll just back up, block the creep wave a little bit, do some shopping." Brings out a magic wand for himself, so not going to see the a bottle rush from Razor. Oh, oh Lena's seen. Lena's uh, smoke's yep. warring off, and the creep wave get, sorts him out. So this game not going to work. And Darkseid says, "Oh, supports are mid, fantastic. Let's go get some experience." In fact, we're going to see a roaming support coming back in the form of DDC Re Regen Rune's going to get uh, spawn immediately. Riptide to. Uh, Remove the HP that was once gained, and ZSMG is going to come back. And this is this early game. I don't want to say it's well played from either side, but, but I feel like both teams has been making so many mistakes. Or in fact, Tom Fu's been making mistakes. They're not really getting these kills. Yeah, LGD's safe lane has gone really well. You've got a free farming alchemist. They've zoned out the Elder Titan, who's still level one. So I feel early game definitely goes to LGD, despite some kind of unusual plays like Zhao Wei being behind the team on mid tower. It was, I, I, mean, I didn't see how he ended up there, but and also this LGD supports very under leveled. But that's something where they they're just starting to do some pulls here. They'll catch up fairly quickly. They've just done a great job of zoning out the elder time. So I, I think LGD with an early game advantage. Alchemist four and a half minute minus. That's that's a good timing. Yep. Generally five and a half is the standard timing, and you know pre farm Alchemist lane. And, uh, he, he beat that by a minute. I am the K-Poptosis in game. XCT with uh, the support from Lean at this top lane is able to sort of venture out a bit further here. But this is sort of turned into dual lanes from Tongfu. They got ZSMJ. He's not bottom, but he's not really supporting. He's just getting farm and levels, which I think is what you need a Nyx Assassin to do. You want him to get the Arcane Boots up. You want him to get to level 6 as fast as possible. So I think for Tongfu, this is a good way to play. It's just where you want to send the Lena. You, you want Nyx maybe getting solo pull experience, but Lena can maybe look to back up mid. Go for a kill there with an astral imprisonment, but this Lena just can't really offer a whole lot apart from maybe some counter ganking and protection. Yeah, unlike a Crystal Maiden who has a range AoE disable in form of slow, it really allows you to set up your other allies for a follow up stun or nuke. But I will say it's something of, of a different beast. Like it doesn't, you can't really use it as an initiation. It's more of a follow up spell, and as a result, they can't, for example, smoke out of the the background of a tier one tower and go for the kill. Everyone, uh, or excuse me, Rune is going to try to be spawned on the bot lane, hopefully, for LGD. And it's not going to be there. Alright, well, it's a uh, haste rune up top. DDC just going to grab it, so LGD going to be happy about that one. And it's, th this lanes have just, you can see, they've got the free farm alchemist who's oh, gone super CSMJ. great. Oh, Alright, D-War lesson for ZSMJ. <laughs> Sentry goes here, because he sees this spot, he sees that spot, and also sees this spot. I'll uh, I'll send him that like 10 second clip from the VOD. Yeah. You can see sign from your biggest fan, Luminous. <laughs> nice farming record, PS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mid lane, there's a gate coming in. Moose sets it up with an Asker Implosement. Impale should follow, as should Alina Light Strike Array. There's your Impale. Light Strike Array. Have they got enough damage for this Jawet? Very tanky. Magic Stick. Ooh! Sign it. Often you see ODs not get ultimate at level 6. Good thing he got it there. That secures the kill for them. Yeah, Wouldn't nice. have got it without. Yeah, Sentry now gets dropped on the mid lane as well for a little bit of D ward action. Not gonna see this one over here though. ZSMJ Sentry, not not on target today. I, that Sentry ward's okay. Yeah, that's that's just more of a precautionary Sentry ward to make sure that there's yep. no war, uh, wards up on either ramp. I actually no, I don't like it because it doesn't see this this spot here. This spot here, Dire often puts a ward right where the Radiant Ward is, yes. so, and that Sentry doesn't spot that. That's my favorite ward spot in the game, like on either side of the river. You put it on the offensive side of the ramp. If you can have a favorite ward spot, that is. That's De mine. Dewarding sentry. This one sees this one, though. Yeah. Here we go. That's where you put the sentry. Because mm -hmm. it sees on top of the both hills. As well as some of the spots sort of uh, nearby, like this little bush here. It can see, kind of on the edge. Chinese soda, where one game you have 25 kills, and other games you have one. It's... I don't know. It's the Russian roulette. <laughs> Dota. Shout 2G is the uh, constant in these kind of conflicts that we have going on, farming it away. 45 CS, 21 deny, and of course Midas being ran off. This is uh, one of the few times now we have seen that we have Grievous green maxed by 7. Generally, players been, even in the safe lane, has been maxing Acid Spray, yep. been maxing Unstable Concoction. 
What do you think is first big item? It, it can't be a Shadow Blade, can it? Because generally, if you go Shadow Blade first, you generally do want to max your stun. He can max stun. He max by the time he has Shadow Blade, he'll have at least. He's gonna have Shadow Blade in the next two three. minutes. Come on. Yeah, but he'll be at least level two stun. Yeah, that's a lot of damage missing. Yeah, it's still not. It's more for the setup, I guess, for his team. It's. I'm not sure he'll go the Shadow Blade. I just, I just think he still can. It still, it still fits in just fine here. Okay. Well, we'll see exactly what he. Decides to do. XCT's been getting his level 4, level 5. Again, the thing that we have agreed on for both, uh, or for Elder Titan is that he is very level dependent, not so much gold dependent. He's finding the level just yet. Meanwhile, Zoe on the, uh, on the top lane. Callout's getting used as well. They want to push this particular lane. They will get the push off, I imagine. Yeah, they're happy to use that ultimate for it. The thing is, if LG now want to come in and defend, there's no cooldown to have to worry about. And they do just that. Naga Siren TPing. Yao gonna venture around the lane, push it off. So, it's somewhat. An unused cooldown. It just I mean, he does have a short cooldown, but I mean, without cooldown, you definitely can't make any type of dive. So I'm not yeah. sure whether yep. that cooldown was the best use of it. We've we seen him It's gonna if fly. If you have through. cooldown here, that's a kill. Yeah, maybe well. it's a kill. Anyways, lean a lot. Not enough. Not enough. And now there's a TP coming in. This is the Pugna, the support Pugna, who's actually been up to level five here. As uh, level one, one Nether. This blast. is a weird build. Two decrep, two ward. One blast. Was this some misclicks involved, or do you think he actually wants like the second well, decrep point? He met he he misclick a hell of times because you need to be leveling up your nether blast. I'm okay with like a two one two, but the one two the two and decrep is really Ooh. weird. That's a uh, astral into another OT kill. Well, the razor countering OD mid is not being seen here. Not being seen anywhere. Pop that buckler, man. Start the RNG procs. Move. Buckler it up. I, I'm just gonna like watch OD. Yeah, me too. And just hope for it, some some RNG to go his way. Nothing. You just spam that. Button. Oh, there you go. Dyer's Round of applause here from the attack. BTS studio. Yep. Should Good buckler. Quality buckler. Quality buckler. <laughs> I feel like I'm. It's like when you're casting cricket and they just. I don't know if you know much about cricket in Australia, but um, they they'll start commentating like. Birds in the the, in the, the grandstand just because like it's a cricket's a very slow paced strategical game. Is it much like Chinese Dota? I guess it's the equivalent. But yeah, if if you, like the the true like sports connoisseurs have a great appreciation of cricket, much like the true Dota connoisseurs may have a true. appreciation of Chinese Dota. There you go. <laughs> you're not you're not a true Dota fan unless you enjoy these type of games. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all the two of you out here. Tom Fu Mood's gonna just attack. plow down this ward and support Pugna. By the way. Oh, he's, he's still supporting in the fountain. Yeah. And and when you have like Spirit Breaker and like those 20 minute games, that's kind of like your your 2020 or 2020 cricket, which is like the super fast paced cricket. But your true authentic cricket is a five day. Imagine a sports game lasting five days. That's cricket. It goes five days. You know what other sport could last five days? Quidditch. True. Quidditch. Can we get some Harry Potter reading going on? I missed that. I <laughs> we really don't have long pauses anymore, unfortunately. This is like a long pause. Has anything happened aside from the tier <laughs> 1 tower going down? I mean, 11 minutes has been a long pause. <laughs> it's, it's been a pause. El Tongfu, look, they're down the game. They're 3-0 up. Is this their game to win? Because they're actually behind on Golden. So how does this game sort of shape up for the next 5-10 minutes? Well, I mean, Shao Tuji's going to farm for a Shadow Blade. He's going to come out of jungle and start killing stuff. That's it. That's the plot. Is that somebody? Oh, I thought he was trapped in some trees here at bottom, but no, he's, he's good. Joe is working towards his BKB. No deaths to his name. Good news for all you Joe fans out there. The two of you. You know what the SMG did in this spot? He's like, guys, I'm trapped in this uh, <laughs> trapped in this spot. I gotta kill this creep to get out. <laughs> Let me kill this creep, guys. <laughs> he just wanted some farm. He just wanted some farm. All right, Pugna, 2-2-2 two, two, two build. <laughs> this player beside me. What the hell's going on right now? With the build or just in general? Oh, he didn't get. Oh, he, you don't. You don't want ulti. Do you get ulti as a support pug now? Middle oh, lane though. There's middle initiation. Lane. This should be a kill on Jawei. Oh, easily enough damage. The sleep comes too late. DDC a bit, a bit too. Nix, 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 nix. Love that. I love that. Lumi. So he once he went level one Nether Blast and then picked up the second point at level six. Sense it makes him back on the top lane here. It looks like Chow Tucci says, "Hey oh." Easy kill, easy life. The shadow I told you, he's got his Shadow Blade and it's level 3 stun already, so... He's good, Lumi. Alright. good. So, would you say this Pug the build is... Unproven? I would. <laughs> Tell me more, gods. Dubious? Dubious, yes. Questionable? Questionable. Suboptimal. Yeah. Has this Pug not done anything? How's he level 6? I would say... 
I've got another one for you. Haphazard. Haphazard. <laughs> I don't think it means the same thing. It does I not. I like the word. I mean, it, it, it fits here. It definitely fits here. Shao is had. Uh, the other thing I don't really like about Razor, uh, it's it's not a Shao 8 hero. Shao 8's your, your playmaker, I want to say. With your puck, we saw him do a lot of that last game. Razor, is you do that that links in and hope he doesn't die. That's not Shao 8. Back in the middle here, Sentry War doing some work. Stun's going to fly out. Astro, Moo, come on! It was a dire Sentry War, to be fair. Uh, he, didn't actually know okay. until, he didn't know until he popped out, but he's just fine. Nothing. He's still got mech. Ain't no thing! Here we go! Earthsplitter in the face, caught out on top, and bam bam! He well, did. Pugna, Pugna Ward doing some work there. That's a level 2 Pugna Ward. Here comes your Sandy's Eclip. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. The mech actually negating a lot of it. Moog gonna get stunned on the tower. Has already used his mech. Got Astral if he needs it to sort of use defensively. But two more kills go Tongfu's way. That Echo Sound was on target uh, by XCT Ursula yeah. as well. And it looks like Yao wants to make a defense. He's got level 1 wall. He's got level 3 vacuum as well. Tier 1 tower. He got the Glyph available. I think you Glyph, you cheap double TP in. And you make us play here. Let's go. No oh. call down, no earth splitter. Every Alchemist. ultimate on cooldown. Alchemist can't come though. He's got, he, if without Alchemist, I don't think they want to fight this. Well, now everybody, Tom Fool will retreat now after tier 1 tower. I mean, every single one of the ultimates were on cooldown. They didn't have Alchemist though. Yeah, come on. I, your race is 0-4 not offering a whole lot here. Darkseer has, a, I guess, a level 1 wall vacuum, but in general, I don't think they want to fight. Pugna's not ready to start fighting. He needs level 4 ward. I, I think at this point you know, maybe don't even max. Well, do you go blast or do you go ward? I'm in his defense. I'm gonna call the second point in decrypt a misclick. I okay. That, 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 I'm not sure if it was, but I'm gonna defend him and say probably a mistake. Fair enough. I think he goes two points of stats right now to round things out. <laughs> <laughs> then two points. Well, he can't get two points in ultimate till eleven. Not enough. The SMJ. He just has to save the skill. Guys, point. guys, two guys. Oh no! I, they smoked no the smoke at console, and now DD's dead. Are they going to get DDC as well? There's a BKB up on Jojo. Jojo's showing up to the fight. Nice and early with a BKB. Call down. Going to miss. Oh, Jojo, Jojo. And now the homing missile going to hit the Alchemist as he comes out. Shadow Blade not going to save his life. Great fight from that was. I don't know what you're talking about. That was like what you call a zoning call down. And then they caught <laughs> they, they caught Chautuji on the right side. That's what you call patience from Zoe. And now they're trying to dive this tower. Here comes a Soul Siren. Wall on top. Vacuum. That's a setup. No, they got to run because Chautuji is still dead. And Tom Fu somehow no. you know, that sleep was patience from Joe. I don't know about the the zoning cooldown. The zo <laughs> zoning cooldown or zoning cooldown? <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a zoning cooldown. And uh, damn, they're gonna <laughs> get a tier one tower out of that. Well, tier one tower. Tongfu is Tong Fu just controlling this game, and this is the one hero who sort of LG were hoping they could fall back on. The Alchemist is get immediately blown up in that fight. He needs to start working straight towards a BKB. It feels like. I'm I'm just I, I don't care how this game goes anymore. I just want to see DD levels up, and see what he skills next. Cause no matter what he skills next, is that's wrong, <laughs> right? It just it doesn't matter. Cause if you want to max a spell, <laughs> if you want to max a spell by seven, it should be maxed by seven. <laughs> he skills next is wrong. It's, dr it's just wrong. <laughs> well, here we go. Team fight goes on. ZSM Jake and oh, call down on top of everything. The storm comes in. The Earth Spider on top as well. Every spell being fired. Where's the Earth Spider? Nothing just yet here. Oh, the chase goes the other way here. Joe doing work, man. Jo Joe doing some he work. He needs to get out of here. He's got a BKB. Is he gonna pop it? He Whoa. couldn't do the skill stun himself. Oh, he's got a BKB before he throws the stun, and he would have stunned himself there. But now we're gonna see OD. Can he chase down Joe? He needs one more. Yeah, more stuff. Got that more stuff. Shadow Blade on cooldown. Ooh, TSMJ spikes under this fox! Oh, what and a player. What a player. Oh, we yes, ZSMJ carrying Tong Fu. Doesn't matter what hero, doesn't matter what role. Alchemist's gonna buy back and try to force the issue. First player! Channel stun. Alright, stun. What can, what can Rabbit do? Zhao Tuji. Double stun, double stun. Ooh! On top, where's the Asset Spray? No follow up. There's Asset Spray right now. The stun from ZSMJ following through. Here it comes. What is, what is he trying to cast? Nothing. He's trying to cast level 2 attack. spells. Okay. All right. Who won that one? <laughs> um, I, Tong Fu, right? Tong Fu. Alchemist yeah. buys back. Mm -hmm. Tong Fu winning fights pretty well. Zhou does pick up his first death of the game. Chuan somewhere is smiling. But uh, uh, this is looking really good for Tong Fu. Elder Titan is uh, going for the Soul Ring. I mean, you mentioned this build last time we saw yeah. an Elder Titan. It's a good build to go. On just need mana. Extremely uh, item independent. Yeah. Just make sure you got to cast every single spell. and. Once you cast it, it's still, uh, Tongfu has so much AoE that they should be uh, completely team wiping LG China. LG to China for me, they're one BKB away from Xiao Tuji. Uh, then I think he's going to start taking control of the game. I'm not counting LG to out just yet.
No, no. We've got a late game Alchemist. I think LG are going to be like, holy crap, these last few fights went horribly. Alchemist just bought back. He's just died twice in a row. Just go farm, get your BKB, get your Assault Caress, then let's think about fighting. Yeah, but I say think about fighting, it's LGD, they're going to want to play this safe. Right, but the thing is, can Shao Tuji carry four deadweights? Because Shao A on Razor... Yao, dude, are we calling Yao a deadweight? This guy's played a perfect Doxy game. Alright, 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 all right, all right. can we carry three deadweights? Yao, Yao's, Yao's a player. Yeah. Shao, Tuji, or Shao A's been dying a ton on the mid lane. Uh, DD's got... Let's just move on from DD. And then we have DDC who's unfortunately gonna get killed right now. Oh, there you go. Don't get no call down on top and Yao trying to mech his ally here. Song Cyber being dropped, not gonna do too much. Just thinking about killing oh, Yao takes a ton of damage from a Laguna Blade here and Lena's still ready to go back oh, in, baby. Shout Tuji Earth Splitter on top. Oh but Oh, there you yep, go. Yeah, that's two. Yahweh hit the back lines. They haven't got damage to finish him off, though. And it's actually Lena taking out Darkseid. Razor goes down to something. I don't know what killed him. Was it a flat cannon attack, maybe? I don't know. It was... Oh, DD trying to drop his nuke. Not going to do too much. He's actually got a ranked up on his net award. That's a wrong skill, Bill, by the way. Shout out to Yahweh. He's, he's stunned, though. <laughs> they don't know it. But he's stunned. Well, yeah, another team. I really think... The old LGD of, of the past would have said, yeah, you can have a tier 2 tower, no problem. We're not strong enough to take a fight right now. I think they have to just dig deep inside and said, what did we do two months ago? We didn't win TI3, but we would have won this game two, two months ago. We also would so? not have put it, picked up Pug now. <laughs> uh, but two months ago, this is, a, this is a new LGD. They've got a new play in Zaltuji playing a very different style of carry to Sila. This game less so. I feel this is, I mean, Alchemist was a Sila hero. It also suits Zaltuji, but Zaltuji playing it a bit more aggressive. Uh, sure, he went for the early game super farm build with Max Greevil's Greed Midas, but then after that, he immediately started to come into fights once he got a Shadow Blade. Unfortunately, Tongfu were ready for him. They had sentries ready, they were just prepared for it, whereas Sila maybe would have just kept on farming going for that BKB. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if they're prepared for you if you show up with Shadow Blade and BKB, because they just have to run from you. What is the Lina Nyx Assassin going to do? Right now, we can see Ash, as we see mid lane, is going to be yet another kill. Being caught out of position, the Stomp's going to be on top. Yao trying to mech and search himself out of there. Four staff forward, two more, he's going to do it. Move! Not going to find a two hit, but says free food over here. Oh! The play, the songs from the backline, DDC. Just going to just gonna re retreat out of here. XCT's trying Ooh. to throw a spirit at to chase him down, but not going to be able to do so. But this is just going to be another uncontested tower. Joe's starting to rack up some big damage and gold. He's got 3.3k gold. Most likely see either an Eagle Song or an MKB start being built by picking up a Demon Edge. And the great thing about Elder Titan is you just send that spirit into the tier 3 tower. This isn't so much looking for a setup, but just scouting things out. Seeing if like someone like Alchemist is going to try Shadow Blade in so you know what's coming. Just giving vision to Tongfu. Yeah, you look at top lane here, Shao Tuji trying to find that last 600 gold. He cannot get ganked here. The SMJ with a blink dagger, blink dust, bam! And it looks like Shao Tuji is going to be dead. BKB would have got him out of that one, or is he? There's Ashram Prisman. Woo! Barely survives. He's actually. The... Oh. Yeah. That could. That to me is getting to a point where it's almost game for going in Tong Food Saver. That is a. Silo big, would not big have kill. died there. Silo would not have died there. Silo would not have got caught. That's just the one thing I'm going to say that, uh, okay, Much well, more conservative yeah. carry. LGD realized they're beat. Unfortunately, Pugna never getting up to that level 4 Nether Ward. I, once he got this far, I, you need a max Nether Ward, because what's level 4? Level 4 Blast isn't going to do a whole lot. He was just trying to recover with that level 4 ward, but LGD was just too far behind. I think with the Plasma Shield and the Nether, 4, uh, Nether Blast at level 4, you might clear the creep wave before it walks uphill if you want to play Turtle Dota, sure. but... Well, never go full DD, guys. <laughs> never go full DD. It's the, the what really hurt him was the second decrypt point because I think there is some reason to get like a mix of blast and ward. The ward is really good in the mid game. Team fights are like yeah. a two one two into a three one three into a whatever you want to get. But it that second point in decrypt just made no sense to either of us. And unfortunately for LGD, it wasn't that. Regardless, I feel like even if you went the exact right build in that game, there was a lot. That went wrong aside from the Pugna build. It's it's not the build. I, I think Razor got shut down mid again. Yep. Time and time again, we say once Razor gets shut down lane, he is done. And uh, Darkseer play well, but Naga and Pugna also, I I think true to the demise of the old LG China, never really mobile supports. They don't gank much. They don't do much. The place out of these two support players, DD and DDC. Tongfu's supports were what carried them that game. They got, they're, the ones, they're the ones who got the rotations, got the kills on mid lane. And for me, LGD 
the only real like Xiao Wei died a lot, but it was from the support rotations. The yep. one big disappoint, not so much a disappointment. The player who I felt could have played better was Xiao Tuji on the Alchemist. Well, looks like uh, we're gonna go into game number three for yep. an exciting conclusion of perhaps an exciting series. That was a fun game. That yeah, let's go. Game, we'll be right back, guys, after a short break.